Welcome to Damian Daniels in six plays. And if you're not familiar with what I do in this series, is I take a look and give you an idea here what Nebraska defensive tackle Damian Daniels is, what type of prospect he is, what type of player he is. Um, so as he transitions from Nebraska to the NFL, you can get a good idea of the type of, of player that Daniels can bring uh, to to the the this whatever NFL team he is on. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the plays. The first thing that I want to show you about Damian Daniels is his ability to to pl plug up the, the running lanes, and, and that's what he is in all reality. He's a run stuffing defensive tackle. So as you see Daniels right here, he's gonna do. He does a great job of taking on the block. So he takes on that that center keeps his outside shoulder free, and then is able to ex get his hands up and reach out to make that tackle. Right? As he's able to engage, you know, use his hands, he's not like he's he's pushing them off and he's got a lot of room of separation or that leverage. He's got enough that he can kind of push off just a bit, go to his left, and be able to make this tackle for what? Maybe a yard gain. So after showing you Daniels' ability to, to hold the point of attack and shed. We see another example of this, but in a different way. So Daniels is right up here, this time on the right side, kind of, you know, three technique look. And instead of holding the point of attack and shedding, he uses his power to drive back the center. So he's going to slant to the inside, and he's going to knock that center back a step. He knocks him back a step, creates that separation, that allows him to get in and help make this tackle for a yard, maybe. And just shows that ability to go in, show some power, knock the guy back, and go and make the tackle. Now this year, Damian Daniels has done a much better job of, of creating penetration. Now he's still a limited pass rusher and only has you know, a handful of sacks in his career. But this year he really showed that ability to get into the backfield and it was because of a, a variety of hand fighting moves. So here he's lined up, but the one technique shading just to the left of the, the center. And he's able to beat the, the left guard right there with a bit of a club. As you can see it right here, he kind of clubs him, pushes him to the inside Pairs it with a little bit of a swim move and is able to get into the backfield here and force the running back to get outside. So if we see it from this the sideline view once again, he's able to push and a club push, swim through, get into the backfield, and the Michigan State uh, running back has to cut it back outside because Daniels and a host of other Huskers are right there to meet him. All right now that we've seen him use a, a club swim type move uh, to get in, he also has a little bit of a rip. So here he is against Michigan, lined up right in the middle over the center, shading him just a tidge. He's going to use a rip move to get past this left guard looking to reach him. So as that left guard's going, he's able to get his inside hand, his right hand inside. You see it coming up right here underneath the, the guard's arm, and he's able to rip through, then use his power to burst through here, get that penetration. He's still engaged, but able to get this penetration and reach out and grab the, the running back for a loss. As we see it in full speed, hey, he's able to get his hand up, rip through, power through, and get that stop. You know, he didn't end up making the try the true tackle but his, uh, but his ability to get this penetration, grab a hold of that running back, allowed the Huskers to get a, a tackle for a loss right here. And using, once again, we saw the club swim. Now we've got a rip and just powering through that, that block attempt. And this was a good Michigan offensive line. They won the Joe Moore Award, a very talented offensive line, and he's able to just kind of make easy work on this play. All right, I've shown you his rip move just a second ago. I showed you his, his club. And here is a swim move um, from Daniels. Once again, right over the middle. This is probably his go-to move 
Uh, what I saw the most of him have his his the most success getting into the backfield, and he's going to do this against Wisconsin. Engages and then just reaches through to get that tackle, and it happened really fast. But as we see here, he engages the the lineman is trying to you know reach to his left, but he gets up on him quick, gets that right hand over, pushes through, and is able to get into the backfield to get that you know just after the line tackle and it, it's all because of that swim move and then that little bit of burst to get him in and finally the last clip that i want to show you the sixth clip just shows his ability to if you if he can shoot a gap initially um he's going to be able to get in and disrupt and that's here against buffalo he's lined up right here on the the left side um, right over the left guard and he's just going to they're going to kind of reach and he's going to be uh, shoot this gap the left guard is going to try and engage with him but he just uses his strength uses his power uses that initial burst to just get right through that double team get to the running back for the tackle for loss and he just it's just that ability that initial burst in power that if you can't stay in front of him he's going to be able to get that tackle 2021 was Damian Daniels' best year. Uh, you know, statistically, I don't think his sack numbers or his tackle for loss numbers were his highest of his career. But if you just break his tape down and, and compare it to the previous years, he had his best season. And, you know, he trimmed down a little bit. You got to show that, that strength and power he continued to develop. Um, and I don't know if he's going to get drafted. I don't think so. I think he's going to be a free agent. Just because, you know, he's an early down run stuffer. And that's what he is. That's what he does well. As you saw in these six plays, he, he's at his best. I didn't show a single pass rushing clip because he got rotated out on a lot of pass rushing situations. Or he just struggled to, to um, get that pressure. He was much better in the run game, being able to clog up running lanes, holding the point of attack, get, creating some penetration. Um, I showed you, you know, he had a couple different... Uh, moves to get penetration and to get into the backfield. Um, I think he's got a good chance of making an NFL team. Um, his older brother is on the 49ers practice squad, and I think he's got a chance to kind of work his way into a practice squad. And as we've seen with the NFL lately, on um, the last couple of years, um, they're now able to kind of move guys back and forth from the practice squad to the active roster. And I think that's what Damian Daniels is going to be um, the thing that helps him, in my opinion, is he, he's, scheme speci he's scheme versatile. He can be a 3-4 nose tackle. He can be a 4-3 nose tackle. So it doesn't matter what front you know, a defense runs. He's a guy that can play the nose. He can play over the center. He can shade the center. He can shade the guards and just clog up running lanes. And you know, as much as teams need pass rushing interior defensive linemen they also need guys that can stop the run and so i think a team that maybe wants one of the the better nose tackles in this draft and doesn't get one would be a, a good fit for damian daniels to be picked up as an undrafted free agent and like i said i think he can stick around for a few years on the practice squad and then it's just up to him to show that development and, sh and find that right role uh, to stick with an NFL team, and I think his ceiling is a rotational defensive tackle, and you know, that's not a bad role to be in, and you know, and have some success in this league. But um, that's where he is. That's what I think, um, and that's Damian Daniels in six plays. All right. So if you like this, you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscription subscribe button. Hit the bell for all the notifications. Uh, while you're subscribing to me, don't forget to also follow me on social media. So draft underscore Brian um, on all your social media channels, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be. Uh, make sure you're following me at draft underscore Brian. Thanks for watching. Until next time.